Alrighty then, <clears throat> it is your amazing host there, it is Team Arai, and how's everyone doing on this Thursday's edition, I almost said the wrong day, but anyway, hopefully you guys doing well on this Thursday edition, I'm doing awesome, but anyway, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own personal Facebook page, all that information will be down below. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some eat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Let's roll this. Do you guys remember the match between Booker T and Triple H at WrestleMania 19? I did. And of course, Triple H buried Booker T. Hmm. I don't know why. I I still can't figure it out to this day. It's not really fair. Probably because Triple H had special treatment back in the day. And... I don't know. I like Booker T. Probably because that is not McMahon's creation. Booker T came from WCW over to the WF slash WWE. And he, they did not really push him correctly, in my opinion. But whatever. WWE Hall of Famer Booker T recently discussed his WrestleMania 19 match. With Triple H, that about was a conversation, I'm sorry, as Triple H took the win to retain the World Heroic Champion of the World. So, you guys can read it. I guarantee there's a lot of politics backstage when the match was over. Can you imagine if Booker T won that match? He'd be, what, a six-time Six-time world champion, <clears throat> including WCW. I don't know why WWE did not really push him. I know he was the um back in what two thousand and one. I think this is when he first debuted in WWE or sorry WF at the time. He was the WCW world champion. This is before he faced the Triple H. He had a match against The Rock. And of course The Rock beat him for the belt. And I remember The Rock says. Who the hell are you? You know. Because he never heard of WCW. I mean probably did. But. Booker T did not like that. You know. So. Now. The the W. Sorry. My mistake. The Invasion Angle. In 01, it was very, very, I'm sorry to say that, very weak. Because a lot of those, um, the guys we, we grew up with, like Kevin Ash, Scott Hall, Hogan, Goldberg, Sting, none of those guys show up with a, a vengeance angle, invasion, sorry, because they were under contract with Time Warner, I think. So eventually, Ric Flair made an appearance for the, uh, I think the day after Savages, I think. So, and then he was uh, the owner of Raw. So, I mean, it was good to see Ric Flair, but I like to see the other guys that I grew up with on the uh, television. I think the angle would be 10 times better than the plan they were having at the pay per view, you know, you just not, they're not jobbers, they just a lot of mid cards and people don't give a crap about, you know. We, they want to see like the big guys, you know, we want to see Hollywood Hulk Hogan back in the WWE or it's a WWF for the first time since uh, the 90s, you know. I mean, he did come back, but it was a little too late, you know. So I think I was a rooting for Booker T because I was so tired of. Triple H's title reign, you know, because he was part of Evolution, 
and I think Rick Flair distract the referee and a Triple H pick up the victory. He had a lot of cheap victories because he was a heel. If he was a face, he would go by the book. That's why a lot of you out there love Triple H because he was he won every damn title on the main roster, you know? You know, he won titles on Raw. He won titles on SmackDown. He, he did all, you know? He won the Royal Rumble. Tag teams, he did all. But it was no Money Bank because Money Bank was never invented until later on, you know? But I'm glad that later in life he was never a part of of Money Bank. Maybe one day they'll... He'll be part of it. That'd be nice. Just just to be in it, you know? So, I think the only reason, people said the only reason that Triple H got this, you know, major push because he's married to Boss's daughter back in the day, you know? Maybe that's true. Maybe that is not true. I think he's a great wrestler. Like I said before, that his WWE lost and that his WF slash WWE's gain. And look what happened to the WWE. They went out of business because McMahon bought him out. Can you just imagine if Triple H stayed with WCW until the end? Will he eventually join the WF slash WWE? Or will he sit at home under contract with Time Warner? We will never know, you know? I don't think WCW will ever give him the major push like the WF slash W whatever would have the only reason he got a major push because his buddies all left for WCW, you know? If he stayed with WCW, maybe eventually they'll give him a better character, you know? He was not very unhappy. I think I don't think they they use him correctly and even Regal told him to leave. You have opportunities to be big in this wrestling business and he was right. He's a Two-time Hall of Famer. He, he does great things. He's working with NXT. I'm glad that he's not working as a wrestler anymore because we don't need him. He's up there in age. Hey, Google, how old is Triple H? Listen to this. Triple H is 51 years old. 51 years old. And I think it is time to hang it up. Okay? I think his last time match against Batista. And that match was okay. It could be a lot better. But I prefer... Triple H loses that match, then winning it. You know what I'm saying? Let Batista win his last match in the W. But probably there was a lot of backstage politics and all that stuff. I don't know if you guys know that Batista wanted like a Hell in a Cell or a cage match, and they had rejected the offer. But if Triple H asked McMahon, I guarantee McMahon says, "Sure, anything for you, son in law." That's how it is. I'm just guessing, no. Don't you want to see someone to win their last match instead of losing their last match? Kareng lost their, his last match. That was so stupid to Bear and Corbin. That was dumb. And that was not a very good match. It should be a better opponent for Kareng last last for Harad and WWE. Have a good one. Let me know what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys tonight. Peace out.